Hey everybody, it's 13th Wolfman. You know, today is today's day 30. That's right, day 30 of the 31 days of horror. And uh, I really don't know how to explain this movie that I'm going to talk to you about. You know, um, I just remember years ago I was in, like, Walmart or Best Buy, one of the two. And I just kind of, like, walked by and I, I looked at the cover and thought, that's a cool looking cover. It's really kind of bizarre. Um, I wanted to know more about it. So I bought it. It's one of those. It's one of those movies that, like Walmart or Best Buy had that you know it's it wasn't in the theater. It's just kind of like one of those quick to DVD horror films. And uh, in this case, it's called Drive Through. Look at that cover. How cool is that? You have the reflection of a clown's face and a and an axe chopping a burger on a grill. I mean, so that's Horny the Clown. Yeah, I said it. Horny the Clown. He is the mascot for Helleburger. Um, and I just loved everything about this. I mean, they, they just kind of like took the idea. It's kind of like uh, Kevin Smith and Movies, you know. They just created their own little world with Helleburger. Instead of it being McDonald's or Burger King or whatever and paying out royalties to use that name. Like, hey, we're going to create Helleburger. Uh, Helleburger is basically a McDonald's-like place. They have... They have Horny the Clown, like I said, and um, there's a car there's a person going around dressed as Horny the Clown, killing teenagers at uh, what's it called, Blanca Carney, California. You know, so Blanca means blank. You know, white, and then Carney. I'm not C A N R N E uh, C A R N E. So Carney white something, you know, blank or white something, uh, California, but, uh, yeah, so he's going around, and he's just killing these people, and it turns out that the daughter of, the, the daughter, who is one of the ones, it's all her friends, but it turns out that her mother was friends with all the people's, uh, parents when they were kids, and they were just, like, the worst kids ever. It goes into a deeper thing about that, but I just want to talk about the, the movie itself. It's pretty cool. It's got some really cool kills. Um, Leighton Meester is in this. I believe she was probably in Gossip Girl at the time, so this was kind of like, hey, look, she can do this in Gossip Girl. You also have Larry Joe Campbell. If you don't know who Larry Joe Campbell is, uh, he was on According to Jim with Jim Belushi. He was the brother-in-law you know, uh, and um, Morgan Spurlock shows up in this. And I believe this is around the same time Morgan Spur Spurlock was, had made that documentary Supersized, or Supersized Me, or whatever the hell it was called. The one where he says, I'm going to go on a McDonald's diet for like a month. You know, I'm just going to eat nothing but McDonald's food every day. And during that, at the end, he's like, you won't believe I gained weight. It's like, Really? You ate fast food for 31 days and you gained weight. Color me surprised. And I think, you know, they, so they get him in this movie as uh, one of the Helleburger managers. And I think it's kind of a, I don't know if it's a jab at his own documentary or if it's just a jab at the fast food district, uh, you know, idea. I think it's more of that. It just kind of seems kind of douchey, if you ask me. But Leighton Easter and her friends, they all do like an awesome job in this movie. The, the acting, acting's not over the top. The only over the top acting is Larry Joe Campbell, who for some reason no one can get his last name right. His last name, he's a police officer in this movie and he's called, his last name is Crockers, like, you know, like Crockett from Miami Vice, but Crockers, right? Everyone keeps referring to him as Cracker or Crackers. And whenever they say, he go, I said, I, I said my name is Crockers, they go, oh, yeah, that's what I said. It was just kind of like a running joke. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, it's like, you don't matter. It's t the type of attitude. His acting is like way over the top because he's like this, he's like this guy that wants, that is a cop, but he wants to be that cop. He wants to be dirty, hairy, and, and, uh, 
and Sonny Crockett and all these cops rolled into one. You know, it's like he wants to go out and catch the bad guy, but he wants to wants to drive the cool car and have all the gear and. So it, it's all over the top for his character, which is really kind of funny. It's a good movie. It's a fun film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I mean, this is one that probably slips by a lot of people because, like I said, it wasn't in the theater. It was it was just one of those direct-to-DVD type things that you see like in Walmart or some kind of like, you know, budget type area in a store. Not much more to say about it. I don't want to give too much away. I will say this, though. The way the movie ends, it feels like they wanted to make a sequel, and I don't think the movie did well enough to constitute them making a sequel. You know, so we never saw a drive through to Horny's Revenge, or whatever it was called. Whatever it's supposed to be called, you know. Horny on the Run. Um, but yeah. So that's it. That's the Day 31 movie. Don't have a whole lot to say about it, you know. Our Day 31. 30 movie. Not 31, day 30. So, they yeah, don't have a whole lot to say about it, but, uh, yeah. That's it. Always like, subscribe, share, and comment. I always want to know what you have to say. When you do subscribe, bing that bell, ring that bell, and hit that bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I put something new up. As always, I am the 13th Wolfman, and I'm on the prowl.